the debate, uh, Raila has been known to shy away or to not attend uh, public debates. We do hope that this time he will be there and he will do the best. That is uh, the nation's newspaper. And now, uh, lastly, the standard newspaper really takes over Raila's AU job bid. President William Ruto and Raila Odinga are leaving nothing to chance in the quest for African Union Commission chairmanship with the government taking charge even as opposition chief discloses they have agreed to cut bureaucracy and unveil a well-oiled joint drive. That is on the standard newspaper. Uh, at the top, we have uh, four stories. Number one, World Bank now falls Treasury's tax plan targets. Number two, states new push to curb counterfeits. Number three, how Modi's party lost the majority. Number four, more doping sanctions are on the way. At the t at the uh, at the uh, side, the rift between the president and his deputy is a reflection of the politics of pity. What we see is each leader attempting to shape public perception by casting themselves as victim rather than aggressor. Kibaki friend's son knew of other daughter. All right. Uh, so we're continuing on and the other daughter of the lead, uh, Emilia Smoy Kibaki. Um, then why state wants court to give a nod to the GMOs. President Shuto is determined to push for adoption of genetically modified organisms asks the court to throw out four petitions and adopt a decision that approves the maze. All right, that is the story the standard is going with, and that marks the end of our uh, newspaper review. There's not much of the newspapers today, rather than the AU job that we've already uh, featured in most of our bulletins, and also um, uh, uh, William Ruto's trip to South Korea and uh, what that means for us. Yes, that uh, sums up today's uh, newspaper. Now, June 16th is going to be Father's Day. So I took it upon myself to say June is Father's Month. Every Thursday morning we'll be having a father to talk on father issues, to talk on uh, things that fathers are going through. And today is not an exception. Today we'll be having a guest who is actually in the line of finance. He's a businessman. He, uh, he knows his craft. He knows what he's doing. But still at home, he... Uh, he gets time and he gets the he gets time and he gets the know-how of becoming a father, a very influential father in his face. His name is Abraham Togo. He'll be joining me in a few. He's the CEO of Miradi Capitals. Yes, that's the name I was looking for. Miradi Capitals. So he is a businessman, but still does not fail in the father sector. He's going to share uh, with a fatherhood what's being a father is and how impactful that position is in the society that for me is everything but i will not be i will not be uh the cherry i will not be the uh, main point of discussion today we have somebody who's uh well versed with the topic his name is abraham and i will allow him to introduce himself Karim. thank you very much mm -hmm. my name is abraham mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm a father Father of four, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, four children. No, uh, okay, let me call them children. But <laughs> yeah. the eldest one is, is 27. Is now the uni. He's just finishing. A young man called Mike. Then my second one is, is, is 21. She's just turned 21 in May. She's also the uni. Then I have two teenagers. Ryan, who's now who's, who's turning 16 at the end of the year. And my and my last born angel wow. at fourteen. She's now in grade eight. I am actually I am actually amazed that you have all that because I usually believe that fathers know least about the ages of their children. Yeah, I, I know their birthdays and even the, the exact time they were born. If you ask me, I'll tell you. <laughs> that yeah. is one of a kind. So because father, I was I was there. You were there. Yes. Fatherhood has been a topic of uh, contention. It is a hot topic, and it is something that has been discussed uh, on very on different angles. Yeah, from negative to positive to we don't need fathers to we can do we can do good all by ourselves. 
So before we even get to how it has been for you, just give us a hint of how important a father is, who is a father, and why he, a father is very important. You know, a, f a father figure is a, I think it's in a family, it's a, it's a true north. Mm -hmm. It's a, there's an authority that God has given a father. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> this authority being God given, when it is absent, certain things don't work, mm -hmm. or, or don't work they're supposed to be. Fine, we have whatever has happened in the world where we have all manner of, of family structures. Mm -hmm. But as God envisioned it, was that there was going to be a father, yeah. there was going to be a mother, mm -hmm. that children. And, I'm, and let me say it on television, a male father and a female mother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so the, 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 I think that is critical because it, it, he's the apex. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the leader, he's the one who calls the shots, mm -hmm. gives direction. Yeah. And, the, and, for, and for them, for, 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 for the boys, they look up to how they want to be a father. Mm -hmm. and, and, and for the girls, they're looking at how the, how the husband will look like. Yeah. Is probably in, in in a very light way for the girls. I think that is that is the, the, the first man yeah. in their life. Yeah. You yeah. know, so so when that man starts missing, mm -hmm. then certain things start dysfunctioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you think? Why do you think we are at that point where we think, especially the ladies, especially uh, yes, especially the ladies, they think they are good or they are okay without the dad figure. See, there's a godly order. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Um, husbands love your wives. Yeah. Wives submit your husbands. Your husband, yeah. And any children obey your parents. Mm -hmm. Parents don't stir your children to anger. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. now look at what is happening. Wives are the ones who love their husbands. Husbands submitting to their wives, mm -hmm. and then children, and then hus and then parents obeying their children. Yeah. <laughs> So you see, and then parents starting their children to anger. to anger. So that is why you have all this mix, because the prescription is there. Yeah. You follow it, it works. If you don't follow it, this dysfunction will mm -hmm. follow. So I think it is the, and then now the hype that what a man can do, a woman can do better, yeah. Yeah, wherever those things came from. You see, they're the ones that have destroyed the fabric of society, because the, the idea was, the, the devil's idea is, if I destroy family, I destroy the society. Mm -hmm. So I work on the man, make the man look not important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a man can do, a man can do better. Mm -hmm. That's why there are people who are single by design. Yeah. But if you talk to those people later in life, they will tell you it, it can't work. Mm -hmm. If, for example, you're, you're, you're raising a, a boy, you cannot wish away a man, because only a man makes another man. Yeah. The same way if you're raising a daughter, there, there has been put from, mm -hmm. from the, that's why God wanted it that way. Mm -hmm. But being it what it is, then we have to work with what we have. Mm -hmm. We have this dysfunction, uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but is, we still have to look at w what God wants and how how best can we work with what we have. Mm. Bearing in mind that we are not where we're supposed to be, mm -hmm. especially in those four orders I've given you. Yeah. 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 You are established in your own way, career-wise. Yes. What makes you not flip and not bring the CEO at home? My kids don't care who I am. Mm. You see, you know, you have to avoid role conflict. Mm -hmm. Your kids don't know, don't want your CEO or whatever it is that you hold. Your kids want a father, mm -hmm. and you must be that. You cannot be any, anything else because to them, first of all, they don't even understand what that is, or, or they don't even want to understand it. And secondly, them they want you to play a role. So you have to keep knowing how to switch. When you're out there, maybe you are very aggressive, but you get home, you have to be gentle, you have to mm -hmm. know how to play. Then your, your wife requires a husband. Mm -hmm. Your mother and father require a child. Mm -hmm. Your brothers require a brother or mm -hmm. a sister. So you, all those roles, you cannot mix them up. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's why, no matter how high you get, everybody is, is as, as you say, we are different things. We are different, we are different relations with different people. Mm -hmm. And you must know what to do where. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me about your journey um, as a son, yeah. because yes, you cannot be, you cannot become without being first, right? So before you become a father, the, the, that means you are once a son. Yes, I, I still am. Oh, yes, you are a son. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So give me that uh, journey. How was it for you? For me, um, I would say I'm very blessed because I I grew up in a stable, very stable. Mm 
mm-hmm. father and mother. Because my mom, my mom stayed home. My mom, we, I, I always say we were her work. And she even later confessed to me and told me when we all left, she realized that she should have also had a bit of her life. Mm-hmm. So she, she really took time to struggle and, and got her balance. Mm-hmm. It was very clear, my mom was stay home. She made sure we ate, she made sure we were sorted. My dad, I saw him every morning wake up, go away, and come in the evening. He was a little available. I remember even when we were younger, he, he even had a blackboard in, in the house where he'd try to the level of education he had reached until he could not teach us anymore. Mm-hmm. But he, 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 he was present. He was always, every event in school he came. You see, and the the, the roles, my mom never came to school. My dad always came to school. So their roles were very clear. And and I think that helped me a lot to be clear about the structure. Mm. This is how it works, this is how it should work. Yes, fine, now that I'm old, yes, I can pick out some few things that may not have worked. Mm -hmm. But I can never blame them Mm -hmm. for anything that would dysfunction with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did, they did, especially my father, he did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. He, he, he stayed away from certain norms that were happening at that time. At that time, most people were, with the level of income, they were sending their children to shags and then, leave, then trying to, to, to sort them out. So he stays here, that's what most of his colleagues were doing, but he, he insisted on staying here. Mm-hmm. Secondly, he insisted on good schools, mm-hmm. as much as they were a bit pricier, and, and he was involved. So there are, there are a lot of things that he tried to push back in terms of what the norm was. He, I think he was clear about how he wanted his children to turn out. Mm-hmm. And then constantly talking about uh, morals. Because mm-hmm. I remember one of the things that stuck in me, he always told me, never ever mm-hmm. take a shilling from anyone. Mm-hmm. And he told me, if you do that, your one, if, if you don't take any, any money from anyone and don't steal any money, your one shilling becomes 10 shillings. He told me, if you steal money from one, somebody, your 10 shillings become one shilling. And that thing, is very true. Mm. Yes. So for me, he's now, he, I mean, he went with the Lord in 2018. But I mean, I feel him because this is the guy, even when I was older, he had impact. If I mean, when I would go to see him in Thika, when you get to the house, you stand down. Mm. Yes, because this is the guy, mm. you know. And fatherhood is, 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 is lifelong. Even now, he's, he's, he's not with us anymore. But he is he he was not my father. He is my father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, so that thing is it's a lifelong. It's continuous. Mm-hmm. Yes. How do fathers? Uh, how can fathers best draw that line? Because it's not easy, right? Uh, just as he had mentioned, you need to you know you get home, take off that cap, put on dad. How how do you easily balance that in such a way that you yourself as a human you're not worn out? Yeah, it's very tricky because the fact I was reading something in the morning, a group of men, and they were talking about masks, mm-hmm. that uh, fathers have to wear different masks. Yeah. And it's true, we have to wear different, sometimes you're tough, sometimes you're mm-hmm. nice. But why, we, why masks? It's because sometimes you have to shield your children from what you're going through. Yeah. And to be honest, um, I saw once T.D. Jake say something to, to, children, to young men, he was telling them, the things you take for granted or seem normal. Mm-hmm. Your Wi-Fi, your electricity, your water. Your father in the background mm-hmm. is working day and night. And he was trying to talk about the balance between provision and presence, that balance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the, sometimes they cannot happen simultaneously. Mm-hmm. I have friends of mine who have had to make very tough decisions to work abroad and only come once a month. And you can see it's taking a toll on mm-hmm. his family. Mm-hmm. But the alternative is even worse. So those are terms the emotions that men carry, especially fathers, because mm-hmm. they have to make very tough decisions. They know this bill is due, I don't have the money, but they still have to put a straight face. So they carry a lot of weight with them, and that's why now it's, it's very important that you have people around you who you open up to. Mm-hmm. Go to people. You tell them, I'm not feeling well, um, I'm overwhelmed, or my wife is stressing me, or mm-hmm. my kids are are not going the way I want. You have to tell them, but with the children, you cannot come. I mean, I can't come. There's a way I cannot come down on them yeah. because you can't, you can't destroy the name of um, in, the, in the name of building. Mm-hmm. So, but as a man, yes, you, you have to find out a mechanism of staying alive, mm-hmm. uh, living your life. Because remember, as much as you love your children, you have a life to live. Yes. 
and that is very critical. Mm -hmm. That's one advice my mom told me. Now, one thing I can pass on to you, my mom is still alive. Mm -hmm. And he told me is that you need to have a life. Because I can see you're, you're headed the same direction I was heading. I, you love your children and everything. Yes, they are everything, but they have their own life. Yeah. So you also have to, in a time, even, even as a couple, you have to decide whether maybe every two Friday, every second Friday, you go away. Mm -hmm. Because even you, you have your life together. Yeah. Then you have your life as a person. Mm -hmm. Then you have your life with your brother. So actually, all those roles, all those are lives. You have your lives with your friends, the people who care about you. Mm -hmm. But and also you also have life alone. Mm -hmm. You know that even if everything collapsed, would you survive? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is this notion of tough love that um, some uh, of us have grown up to know. And then there's, then, then there's this... Uh, American type of dad, you know, the African dad is known to don't talk when I talk, don't ask me questions. I am, I am Alpha, I am Omega. This is my house. And then there's the African dad, talk to me, you feel free. And then it is believed the African dad is loves you, but it is tough, and they don't need to show it. That the the American dad will lead you astray. What would you say to those who believe that? You see. If I'm giving you something, you must feel it. If I put sugar in your, in your tea, I cannot tell you the sugar and you can't taste it. Mm -hmm. That cannot be true. Yeah. So there's, uh, this tough love thing, um, if truly you're loving your children, they should feel it, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. And okay, unless it's a, a child, you know, a, a child has, you, have to, you have to decide what for them because they don't yeah. know. But if somebody's a teenager, they, they, if you motivate them, they sit dark and say, yeah, the dad was tough on me today, but it's true. He's right. Mm -hmm. But there's a way you can be, you're just brutal. Mm -hmm. and, you know, fine, you'll get the results, but you'll break these people. For me, I think it's a, it's a, it's a blend of both, mm -hmm. hot and cold. But you have to be very gentle. Yes, you have to be tough sometimes. You have to tell them you, you are wrong, this is going to happen to you. But ultimately, you must remember that everything you are doing is for the, is for the better of that child. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if your toughness is going to break them, then what is, what is the use? Mm -hmm. And now you can, achieve, you can achieve results through very many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even in, even in, uh, in the corporate world, in management, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there, are, there are easier ways of getting the same results. Yeah. yeah. This thing of breaking your employees where you are at it, breaking everybody, I mean, step on everybody and getting results, can be gotten if we all work together. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the kids. I, I feel the generation now, the Z, the, the Gen Z, they... These are exposed people. Mm -hmm. Even if they come to ask you something, they're just being polite because they can they, they can get it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you cannot withhold knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is out there. Mm -hmm. They know how a good parent should look like. They can read for themselves. So they can even judge you and say this guy is not being fair to us. Mm -hmm. So we are living in that world where and then there's this out thing of how a parent should be sometimes, which is not true. Mm -hmm. Because yes, you know you 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 have to be a parent before you become a friend. Yeah. Because this thing of also being mm -hmm. friendly, also you lose your children. Mm -hmm. You're not their friend. You're, you're, you're their parent. Mm -hmm. You're gonna become friends later. Because see now, but also remember, even if you you approach that macho that macho approach, age deals with you. Yeah. I mean, I saw my father. He was a tough. He used to be. I mean, we used to see a strong guy. But as age went on, you could see he's become a nice guy. He's very he's very generous to his grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So some of these things expire on you. But I think th there's an approach where an interactive approach. That yes, I'm your father, you're my children, but I care about you, I, I care about your welfare. I think you're not going in the right direction mm -hmm. for this reason. If you reason in them that way, you know that approach never expires. Yeah. Because you don't need to use any force. Mm -hmm. Because you're just using your wit, you're using your diplomacy, and you're using your God, your God given position mm -hmm. to assert and to, to assert yourself, not to impose, mm -hmm. but to assert yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So take give us a little bit about your now experience as a father. How has it been for you? You see, uh, children, all children turn out differently. Mm -hmm. Same experience, same exposure, same love, same everything, they turn out differently mm -hmm. because they have different personalities. In some children, every time a child does something, sometimes you'll, you'll see yourself. Mm -hmm. You see, and so that, and, and that is what sometimes holds me back from taking any action because I'm like, this, this is a work of genetics. <laughs> it has, this, this, this kid has not, nothing wrong. This is me. Mm -hmm. I know myself with this position and what kind of agony I caused my parents. Maybe it's payback time. Mm -hmm. So you, you deal with it knowing that, first and foremost, this person is already predisposed that way. Mm -hmm. That they have, is a fork. You tell, give an instruction, 
they forget. And you remember, even me, I'm very forgetful. Mm -hmm. So you go easy. But I think parenthood, I think fatherhood is a, is a, is a very good journey. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, a, it's especially when you're interacting with them, you're, you're seeing them changing children to teenagers, teenagers to adults. Now, my, like my first two, those ones after they finish university, already one, one foot is yeah, out. Yeah. You see, they're going. So in another five, ten years, I'll be probably be, be alone. So mm -hmm. th th those are realities. But how you treat them they will determine how they'll treat it. Because that time is coming. Yeah. And not that be, I'll, I'll need the money from them, no. But I can tell you, you know, we, we really hype a lot about financial security. Mm -hmm. A lot. It's everywhere. Financial security, retirement plan, all those things. But only address one thing, financial security. We don't talk about social security. Mm. I can finish the race, I'm a billionaire. Mm -hmm. I'm living in a nice address. But I have no social circles around me. Mm -hmm. I will, you'll probably be dead in a year mm -hmm. with all your financial security. And remember, even financial security, you, you, you can fix it overnight. Yeah. But you cannot fix social security overnight. Mm -hmm. If you messed up your relations, you'll finish the journey that way. Mm -hmm. Nothing much you can do. So, and your kids are one of the big, best social security circle you can ever have. Yeah. So they come to see you, they bring your grandchildren, they call you, mm -hmm. uh, they are proud of you, they talk about you in their circles, mm -hmm. they involve you in their activities. Because at that age, exactly, like my, when my dad, my, now we had all left and they had moved out of Nairobi because it was too fast for them. And they, they put up their house in Thika. He was telling me, my monthly expenses are so low. In fact, I, I, I tend to think my money is just building up on me. So you could tell, money did not have the value to have for him. Yeah. What was more important was when are you guys coming? Yeah. Yeah. Why, why haven't you come? Uh, mm. they, they are calling you. So you can tell the, the, the need. They, they need you more as you, yeah. not your resources. Mm. They have their own. Mm. They've sorted out their financial, but if they had messed up on that social, now they, they, it would have been horrible. But now, because of the way we were, we were brought up, mm. you feel the need mm. to go see them because you had a connection. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't have it, too bad. It wouldn't be there. Yeah. Now, I will ask these questions in two ways. Yes. Not to know how you will answer it. Number one, is there an age... Is there an age that qualifies or what qualifies one to be a father? Like at what age or at what point in life do you sit down and say, now I can become a father? Number two, there's a high rise of young fathers right now. People in their 20s, 22, 23, someone is already a father. Single, still living with their parents, but is already a father. How? How, how does that work out? How do they better now their fatherhood? Because they're already fathers, the children are already here. Yeah, uh, personally I became a father at 20, 27. Mm -hmm. And I think it, 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 either, it, either you can do it by design or if not, sometimes people, it just happens. Mm -hmm. That something has happened, my, my girlfriend or wife is pregnant, so um, in nine months I'll be a father. Yeah. It's, a, it's a biological fact. Mm -hmm. But you see, there is siring and fathering. Mm -hmm. You know, animal sire, mm -hmm. you know, because they, they, they procreate and yeah. they get offspring. Yeah. That is one part, that is the easy part. Fathering is the nurturing, the bringing up. Mm -hmm. So in terms of age, mm -hmm. is there an age now? I think, I mean, it has been shown, there are even people who are majority, guys have become fathers even at 19, mm -hmm. 20, and they've done very well. People have become fathers at 40 and done a horrible job of it. Mm -hmm. So I think it is the inert, uh, qualities that I knew mm -hmm. that, that the relation that fatherhood this is what it takes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do I have it or don't I? Mm -hmm. So, if you have it, irrespective of age, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it, irrespective of age, you're not good to go. But unfortunately, again, we have a lot of fathers who are fathers because they're tired. Mm -hmm. And either they are not with the children or they're with the children. But you know, the worst thing is when you're there, but you're absent. Mm -hmm. And that can happen. Mm -hmm. Where the, the, the kids just see you, and you know what, what they do over time? They adjust that reality and they switch off from mm -hmm. you. Yeah, so before long, you, they, they, and you'll start complaining, but they, they, they switch off from mm -hmm. you. So for me, to answer your question, it is more of, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you have what it takes? Do you know what it takes to be a father? Mm -hmm. And do you have it? You're good to go. Mm -hmm. if, you, if not, even if you're older, Age will help, 
but it is not the only prerequisite. So the, the, the biggest for me, the, the necessary condition, is that is that you're that you're ready with what it takes, or you're ready to do what it takes mm -hmm. to be a father. So you have said, let's use yes, it. yes, you have said, yes, it has happened, it yes. has happened. What next? You see, sometimes okay, if if it burns on you, I, I think it be it behoves on you to to now man up. Mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. and do what must be done. Mm -hmm. If you have to ask around, if you have to consult, if you have to go to classes, mm -hmm. do whatever it need to do. The same way, if, if you want to do, a, if you want to learn a skill, you, there are many ways of doing it now. Mm -hmm. Now, with, with the advent of technology, even YouTube, you can go and learn. There are so many churches are organizing so many things about parenting because they are realizing that is a fabric for society. Yeah. If that goes wrong, mm -hmm. everything goes wrong. Even from a political standpoint, if we fix family, we fix politics. Yeah. We fix every, everything yeah. is fixed from the, from the family. That's yeah. why you see it's under attack from mm. everyone. Mm -hmm. That's why we are creating all these rainbow, rainbow movements, mm -hmm. you see. So I, I think for me, I think that, that that's a good starting point. Mm -hmm. the, the, the realization that yes, I've, this has happened, mm -hmm. but, and it is irreversible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this child is coming in X months, maximum nine months. Mm -hmm. And I have to be ready, mm -hmm. provision-wise, mm -hmm. emotionally-wise, mm -hmm. and then also taking care of of, of their mom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in whatever arrangement you want, mm -hmm. in the best interest of this child, because children adjust to anything. But what the children uh, thrive on is certainty and predictability. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to predict you. They want to predict the circumstances. They want to predict how you how you act in certain circumstances. They know that if I'm done wrong, my dad is going to sit me down. He's going to tell me off. He's going to tell me things, and then we'll and then we'll make up and move on. Mm. Yeah, but not knowing that this guy what is going to he's going to hit me. He's going to hit you. You see, and so for me, if if you're predictable and you've decided that fine, I've gotten my I've I've, I've gotten to this, but I'm going ahead. But even if you don't know what it takes, then there, there are various ways of learning what yeah. it takes to be a father. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I think uh, that will sum up everything. I do not have any uh, other questions. So what would, you, what would be your uh, shout out or your word of counsel to all those who are listening to you or watching you right now? I think I'll, I'll go back to that order I told you. I think let's restore it. Mm -hmm. Let uh, wives, <laughs> wives submit to their husbands. Let, let, let husbands love their wives. Mm -hmm. And let um, children obey their parents. Mm -hmm. And parents, stop um, starting your children to anger. Yeah. Yes, you're their parent, but it, uh, it does not give you a carte blanche to, to just do whatever you want with mm -hmm. them. Because after all, you're just a custodian. Mm -hmm. These kids are with you max 25, 20 something years, mm -hmm. and they are gone. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the impact you have on their life, and remember, how you parent them will most probably how they'll parent, yeah. or at least partly parent. Mm -hmm. So you know that you have an impact of generations mm -hmm. to come. Mm -hmm. So I think, and then let's take fatherhood seriously. Mm -hmm. And by fatherhood, I don't mean siring, I mean mm -hmm. taking care of your offspring. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to take, them, take care of them off-site or take them, but please take care of mm -hmm. your children. And no, by, by, I don't mean sending money. That's the easy part. Mm -hmm. Be part of their life. Be, let them know you who you are. Impact them, shape them, guide them, lead them. And, in his, and I'm saying this irrespective of the family arrangement you have. Mm -hmm. Kids can adjust to anything, mm -hmm. but as I said, those two things, let, let them predict you, let them be certain about you. Mm -hmm. Dad, he doesn't he live here, but he comes every Saturday. Yeah. Dad calls me on this day. Mm -hmm. You see, that, that creates its own. So when they'll grow up, they'll realize, yes, there was a dysfunction in my family, but this guy did the best yeah. he could. And I can do better. Yeah. I don't have to be away. I, mine, I'll make sure I'm in. I mean, mm -hmm. But if you don't do that, then this kid grows up without, without affirmation. Mm -hmm. And especially for the daughters. Mm -hmm. the, the, when your daughter is not affirmed by the father, there are problems that will come later. Mm -hmm. Because the first man who will affirm her will have a way with her. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of her level of education, irrespective of her level of income, mm -hmm. yeah, that man will have a way with her. Mm -hmm. And most probably they may not be the right man for them. Mm -hmm. But if you affirm and set standards, the moment they meet a man, they use that standard. Mm -hmm. So the the not good, the, the, the poor who don't fit the bill will fall off. Yeah. But if you have no standard, anything will fit. Yeah. yeah. And 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 and, the, and 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 manipulation then yeah. uh, coming in. So for me, I think fatherhood. Let us take up our mantle. Yeah. It's God given. Let's 
and it's, but it's, I think it's only the men mm -hmm. that can fix this mm -hmm. thing. What can you say to those uh, who are, have been hurt, disappointed, or have lost hope in their who, fathers? Or the, the fathers who have lost hope. No, the, the children who have yes. lost hope in fathers. And they're like, ah, me, Mr. story, I don't care. Yes, I, I think for the children, they should remember one thing. Um, honor your father and mother. You know that's a command. Mm -hmm. It is not a request. Your father, um, your, your parents were given they are on a pedestal, and it's God given. You can't fight them. And honoring is is um, is almost independent of who they are. Mm. So you have. I'm not saying you, 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 you you're not human that you can feel that bad things are doing to you, but you must find a way of honoring mm -hmm. because it's a command, and that command has consequences, mm -hmm. both dire mm -hmm. and very and good. Mm -hmm. You see, when you don't do it, this thing happens. This thing happens. Your life is shortened, and, and the quality of life. If you if you do that, then your life becomes better. Mm -hmm. I I think it may be easier for the children to try and understand their father. Because again, some of these fathers are also just big children who are wounded. You know, you know, you know. You don't wisdom does not necessarily come with age. They are old people who are foolish. Mm. Yeah, so some things <laughs> they don't come with age. Okay. So this guy, I use that extreme example because this guy has, is old, but his parental skills are young. Mm. So if 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 they can get to that realization that this person probably did their best given the circumstances they were in. Mm -hmm. How, how can I make better? Let me do a better job mm -hmm. when I sit in this position. Mm -hmm. But let me cut him some slack. Mm -hmm. For whatever it's worth, he, was, he's, he, he sired me, he fathered me in whatever way he did. For that, I honor you. Mm -hmm. But I'll definitely do a better job than yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, maybe just a free shout out out of the two minutes that we have. Um, you can maybe tell us a bit about Mirati Capital, what it is, what you do. No, Mirati Capital is actually a corporate advisory firm. What we do is we we, we advise business on basically end to end formation, how to run business, how to fix business. And, and mostly we do a lot of capital raising mm -hmm. in terms of raising capital for businesses, be it equity, be it debt, or, or mixes. And we have we have transactions running most in, in, in sub-Saharan mm -hmm. through partnerships with other with, with other firms that do similar jobs. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm in this space because that's all I've done. I was in banking, I was in development finance, and finally on on my own. Mm -hmm. But also th this also allows me again to do. Fatherhood, because and as I finish, I, I remember something that mm -hmm. every our main purpose mm -hmm. as a, as a, is is the fatherhood part. These things that we are doing, what I'm doing as a CEO, whatever I'm doing and raising money, is just to augment yeah. my fatherhood mm -hmm. because that's what God holds us for. Mm -hmm. Because He knows He's put all these men to to run these families which are, which will treat the world. Yeah. You see, and 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 even and even you can see every time he uses he uses a, even when he's comparing the church he compares it to family a yeah. lot. Mm. So it's a structure that is very dear to him. Mm. So I think to me that is my biggest mission and purpose is to bring up my children and be a good father to them. These are the things God will give me to just supplement that role. Yeah. Thank you. Right, maybe you can share your, your credentials if anybody wanted to talk to you or to get to you. Yeah, you, probably. I don't know if you want to run it as my number or you want me to uh, say yes, it. Yes, just say it. Yeah, yeah you, you can reach me on, on email, mm -hmm. amutogo, that is A-M-U-T-H-O-G-O -O at gmail.com or my on my number 0722 All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your time. This thank has you, been amazing. I do hope that we have learned, and I'm taking this month, uh, like the whole of this month, I just want us to dive, to dive on that and uh, really uh, tackle the topic of fatherhood, what fatherhood is and yes. what fatherhood is not. Yes. The yes. pains of fathers, yes. uh, healing from it, growing from it, and learning from fathers like you. So I really thank you and I honor you for being with us today. Thank you. Um, and happy Father's Day in advance. In advance. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, fathers, we, we, we hardly get uh, noticed. I like, you know, right? Yeah, yeah but, but, but I think we, that is also built in us. Mm, yeah, so yeah. We're not waiting for accolades. Mm. No, no, we just do our job. 
But we thank you. Yeah, we yeah. do thank you, fathers. Uh, we we might not say it enough, and it might not be shown enough. But I, I understand the father, the position of fathers yeah. in the community, in the society, uh, even in us. In as much as I, I come from a family, my father is the old school type. You know. Yes. Yes. I get very much in your time in that bedroom. Yes. Yeah, like that. But we grew up with that. We loved him with that. Discipline is good. Yeah. yeah. It taught us some sort, of, some sort of discipline. Yes. And I, I honor him for that. So I don't think it's wrong to have fathers take that position of uh, instilling, I, I believe, the, the disciplinarians, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, thank you for, 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 being, for being there. Thank you very much. So, right, that sums uh, today's EBN Morning Live. Uh, in case you have questions, uh, I'm a piano details. Zaki, I hope I think they'll be running on a, on a what's the description or something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>